please join me in welcoming to the stage Oliver Gould of the Linkerd Project. Hello, how's it going, everybody? Who here has heard about Linkerd? Come on, it's right there. Yeah, more hands. <laughs> All right. Uh, who here has tried Linkerd? All right, I want more of you next time we do this. Uh, that's the goal. So for the rest of you who didn't raise your hands just now, let me talk a little about what Linkerd is. Well, Linkerd is a service mesh. OK, well, it's a service mesh. Well, a service mesh manages the complexity of communications in distributed systems. That's its goal. What complexity in distributed systems? Nobody said. What we found is that Platform operators, the people bringing Kubernetes into their companies, already have existing systems. Maybe they have Mesos or OpenStack or any number or just some legacy thing. And they can't just get everyone onto Kubernetes in one fell swoop. They want to bring in some of the new features and get some of the people onto that, but they still have to monitor things and support things. And so Linkerd kind of fits in this gap of hiding a lot of the details of the underlying ecosystem, of the underlying orchestrator, and adds a bunch of the feature sets that the platform owners care about that they don't necessarily want the application developers to think about. Things like TLS. Nobody wants to have their application developers worry about TLS certs, let's be honest. Furthermore, there's a bunch of just pure reliability things we can do. We can retry dump requests automatically. We can insert deadlines, and we can, we can integrate with open tracing and send them data without the application having to be instrumented really rigorously. So we launched the project a little over a year ago, and the first public time I spoke about it was at KubeCon EU last year. Anyone see that? No. Um, <laughs> but there's a lot more of you here to this time. That's great. Uh, and so since then, we've been helping a lot of users go to production, and now we have companies, big and small, using Linkerd in production, which is great. Uh, we've been adding a bunch of features. And just at the beginning of this year, uh, Linkerd was accepted into CNCF, uh, which is hugely exciting for me. I love that the Linkerd logo is next to all these other great projects. It's really exciting. And, and now we actually have a pretty vital community. Uh, it's growing all the time. Uh, we have a really good Slack room with people helping each other. So I, I encourage you to come in and check it out. Uh, let me tell you a little bit what we've been doing recently. I'm going to call out some specific contributions here. Uh, just recently, I think for the next release, Sarah Brown implemented ingress support. So now Linkerd can read the ingress API in Kubernetes to manage traffic routing. That's really cool. Uh, Andrew Signer, or Siggy, uh, he put together this really good integration with Prometheus and Grafana called Linkerd Viz that gives you a zero config per service dashboard. Uh, just run Linkerd, have it send stats to Prometheus, or have Prometheus collect from it, and you'll get good stats by default, no config. Really nice. Uh, a big part of my last year was getting HP2 and gRPC in Linkerd. That's now there. Uh, we've got some people testing it, which is great. Uh, should go to production soon, I think. Uh, Alexander Paklov added Thriftmux support, which is another RPC protocol. Uh, I forget, somebody at uh, PayPal added curator support, not on here, that's really good. And then recently we've been adding a gRPC API for the control plane. And so this makes it a lot easier to program against and manage Linkerd instances through one API. I'm happy to announce that we will probably hit Linkerd 1.0 in April. Uh, we're marching to a release candidate very soon. I'm really happy that Alex Long did a bunch of work to get fine grain policy uh, uh, via a plugin API for client management. Uh, we have this new gRPC API that I'm very excited about and we'll be adding features to. And we initially marked most of our plugins as experimental because they weren't in production. Well, now most of them are in production and we'll be marking them stable uh, for 1.0. And that's all happening soon, so please check out RC1 when it goes live and give us bug reports and any feedback you can. 
Finally, I'm, I'm very, very, very excited to announce Linkerd TCP. This is a new project. It just went on GitHub yesterday um, before I got on the flight. And uh, what it does is, so Linkerd is only for HTTP, or it has to be protocol aware. That leaves a lot of legacy applications, a lot of databases kind of in the dust. Um, and so what we did was we wrote a very minimal, lightweight TCP and TLS load balancer. It, met, it does waiting, so you can do redline testing. It does all the bells and whistles that Linkerd has minus the protocol awareness. Uh, it's written in Rust, so we know it's safe, it's native, it's pretty fast and, and memory efficient. And uh, it's got a new GitHub repo, so please come get involved. Love uh, Steve Jensen's testing it right now. I love more testers and more contributors. Uh, please come play. Finally, uh, Oliver Beatty will, and I will be talking about how Monzo went to production with Linkerd over the last year. We'll be doing that tomorrow at 1.55. Uh, and then we'll be, I'll be doing a Linkerd salon where we can just chat. I can show you demos, whatever you really want to see. Please come by. It's going to be a great time. Finally, go to Linkerd.io. There's a download button. You can play with it. It's not that scary. Let me know what you think. Uh, and if you do get stuck in there, please come to the Slack. Really supportive community. Uh, hope to see you there. Thank you.